Hello everybody, Mohamed Esfi, I'm the founder and CEO of Ctaver, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to engage you in this new uh, shopping experience that we're trying to bring about. We're solving two problems, one that you're probably most familiar with in areas where the rent is very expensive, just like the pay, where an apartment can cost $4,000 per month in rent, where people may need to make a little bit more of income. Uh, and then on the other side, there are lots of small and medium brands that have amazing products and find it very difficult and very expensive to reach retail market, to reach consumers, especially cross-border. And the end result, what we do with our solution is that we give an opportunity to people who want to leverage their living room or their house to make up to $2,000 income per month and they can buy products at wholesale price. So you can buy your furnitures and many things with 30% discount, 40% discount. On the other side, for brands just like this fashion designer in Ethiopia, we divide the logistic costs of reaching American customers by four, and we multiply her sales volume because now she can reach consumers. How it works? So we handle the whole supply chain. We just give an address to the producer in his location, and then we move everything, and then we put it with many personal stores, like your house, your house, you're going to use your living room. So these brands are going to give you a small inventory and they put it in e-fulfillment. You don't have to pay for it. You, have it. you can take it on your house. And then you're paid for storage per month because they would have otherwise paid somebody else. You pay a commission on sale when people come and visit you, this product before buying it. And also when you fulfill an order. This is how it looks like from the consumer perspective. Let's say you want to buy a lamp. So you would use our app. And you actually search on the map, furniture, and it tells you that within one mile, maybe one of your neighbors has that lamp. So here, Erika, this is her store, and indeed, she has this very nice lamp. And I can go on her shop, and I can walk to her house, literally, see that lamp, and if I like it, I can pay cash and take it, or get it shipped. So basically, your nearest furniture shop may be your neighbor. <coughs> That's what I wanted to explain here. Up, the team, so I'm Mohammed. I have a PhD in, in mobile commerce and a master's degree in cross-border e-commerce. So it's kind of my field, I've been in this field forever. Uh, I have 22 years experience and five years with the United Nations. I have formed and, uh, and helped 2,000 companies in 35 countries. So this is really my butter, cross-border e-commerce. And then I rely on a dozen team of international experts that's for now are willing to help a bit on equity. And I'm looking for a COO and a CTO. Now, how juicy is this market for investors? The exits are huge. This is in the recent two years, there have been a lot of uh, exits and the average is a billion dollar or above. This was four billion dollars that Alibaba paid for Lazada Singapore. And then, we think that within five years, we can exit and the target acquisition could be DHL with whom I know some of the board members, eBay with whom we have done a project, and then more likely Amazon, Alibaba, Rakuten, or other logistic companies. In terms of uh, investment trend, uh, these are also our competitors, and there's a lot of VC capital going in, uh, between $5 million and $20 million between Serie A's and B's. 30 seconds. Yes. So the market is huge. We already have a form of uh, pipeline that could bring us $10 million uh, per year. Uh, it can extend to $1 million if we reach all uh, the brands in developing countries or foreign countries. It's a very big market. The time is 72 billion. It's the market of e-fulfillment, but we're targeting a very specific segment, which is cross-border and retail brands, and the sum is about 12 uh, billion. The growth is amazing. It's between 15 and 25 percent. You're out of time. Okay. If you have to go to slightly. Yes, about the money. Okay. Yeah. How much money are you raising? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we want to raise one million dollar. Why? Because we want to set up a strong cooperation team, we want to recruit the first 1,000 uh, houses that we use as a network. We want to onboard 100 brands and then prepare uh, for the next uh, round. Of